The BT Cruiser by Gulfstream. Ooh. Nice vehicle. <sighs> this is powered by a Ford. E Series 450, big old engine. Super probably. Duty. I don't know a lot about Super Duty. Super Duty. I don't duty. know a lot about engines and cars. My kid is embarrassed by that. My kid loves cars and engines and stuff. But this will get you where you need to go in style. Let's go over and check out the style. Yeah, any more details you need, just just yeah. ask. If you have questions, chat us up because we will. We have people standing by that can answer these questions. Okay. Uh, looks like we have storage underneath. I know this is a smaller little, just a little pocket for storage. Um, oh, this one. This one's got the hose in it as well. Okay. And some more? What do we see what do we think here? Oh. You need a key for that one. They don't give me the keys. That's proof that you it's safe. That Your stuff is safe. They don't give me the keys. He's uh, he's been stealing stuff most <laughs> of his life and can't even get it. Not done. true, not true. You also see the frameless windows. Yes. So these are really cool because one, they're frameless. Two, when they open up from the top, the hinges at the top, it means you can have it open while it's raining, even if your awning's not up, and you get that cross breeze, which yeah. is nice. Let's talk about this real quick. The COVID cleaned, sealed for your safety. So when you get an RV from RV wholesalers, they will go inside, they will high, highly detail the cleaning. Uh, it's it's the, like the, the high test stuff. They're making sure this is super clean. When they leave, they will put this on there and nobody will go in there again until you get your RV and you break it yourself and go in. So we are on top of things as far as keeping things safe. You want to show them this? You love this. I do. This is my favorite part. Ready? You see that? Ready? Watch. Look. You open the door and boom. Comes right out for you. Robot so you know foot step. step. Yeah. Crazy. And... When you close it again, it automatically does it. Inside and check close this out. Wow. I can hear it closing from in here. Yeah, that is sweet. That is sweet. So come on in. Okay, we're coming. Come on in, guys. So let me tell you, Tim and I, on the last episode, took a road trip in an RV, uh, Class C, and yeah. it was the first time I'd gone anywhere, like in an RV, or in a, a Class C, and it's awesome. It is awesome. A little smaller than this one, but still felt super roomy, so I can only imagine how much room this... Didn't yours have the bed up front here? Yeah, so it did. Tim, uh, the couple days that we were down there, Tim slept above this, and I had a bed in the back. This is obviously set up a little different. Kind of cool, the, the sleeping arrangements. You know? Yeah, this is unique, because your television being up here, the whole cabin has yeah. that view, which, yeah. is, which is fun. And that that just looks nice, with yeah. the storage up here for all your, all your stuff. Yeah. Extra electronics, video games, DVDs, whatever you're thinking. Yep. And some more storage. Right. So you got the extra bed here. This is one of your beds that also is a dining room table. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a dining room table first. Yeah. In your slide out. And it's it's cool. I, I've only seen a picture of it, but I remember they have a lot of times when you buy these, they'll have a sticker here showing you everything in the RV. And there was a picture of this made up like a bed oh. with like blankets and tucked in and pillows and it looks it looks good it kind of kind of shocked me I'm like where is that bed and like huh. you're looking at it it's the, it's the dining room set it becomes a bed so uh, let, me, let me show you something okay. I found this out a minute ago all right this is crazy watch oh yeah the touch and it's touch it's cool because it's a lot of them you, you have to push a button in the middle which is still cool yeah but these you're just touching the the metal rim around the, the edge. edges isn't yeah. that sweet yeah that impressed okay. me. That's, that's that impressed me. Oh. Okay, sorry. Okay. We'll keep, keep it on, though. All right. Uh, you got your seating, extra seating here. And all the seat belts built in because you can ride in the back of one yeah. of these. And I did that a lot when Tim and I were heading to... He drove, and I just sat back here hanging out. Yeah. I mean, should we just hit the kitchen now? Yeah, well, Look at this. Well. Look at this countertop. It's like actual... I don't know what this is made out of, but that's not my expertise, area of expertise, but it's nice. You got the pull-out... Oh, whoa, that's deep. deep. Sink. Yeah. Man. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm, where do I set this? Right there. Yeah. The classic built in cover for your stovetop and the splash guard there. Three burners. I like what they did here with this backsplash too. Just a little extra protection. It's detailed. It's not it's not a uh, sticker. Yeah, it's not a sticker. This actually co comes out a little bit. Uh, plenty of storage. For food, you got up here, you got down here, you can keep your stuff. Microwave, you got your vent, you got a small oven. 
But uh, all you need are cookies and pizza. You That's true. Those That's those all I eat, really. Yeah. Yep. Uh, good size refrigerator. I get I get teased about how many times I open the refrigerator. There's a reason I do that because you, you need to see like the depth of the refrigerator. Sometimes it's a little a little more shallow than than others. This one is a good size for yeah for a vehicle this size. So make fun of me all you want. I think it's a drinking game for some people. Every time I open a refrigerator, it's a lot of wasted people out there. It's probably just creatures of habit, you know? Like, yeah. I open my fridge yeah. all the time. Yeah. So. See if there's new food in yes. there from the last time you opened it 10 right. minutes ago. Yep. Yeah. Now, this is cool. This is I, super I haven't sweet. seen one like this before. We can both hop in this. Yeah. And it, oh, no, no, not this oh, one. I can over, hop over there. One. Yeah, over that, there. That makes much Not more the sense. same one as me. McCreary. Look, this has the touch lights, too. Oh, it does. Yours does. Mine does. reading. Uh, plenty of storage above each of these, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's storage it, underneath? Is that... it, it goes all the way through as well. Storage on think... both sides. This is hanging storage right here. Do you, you have, have storage a... underneath yours? You have a I don't have storage, but you got some space over there. Yeah. You need to share one of those for the guy that's over here. Yeah. Um, and a uh, USB port here. You have hanging storage outlet. on this side, too. Yep, mine's got the USB outlet as well and power, yeah. so no problem with your phones or devices. Little uh, accordion-type door for privacy. Nice. And accordion to me, that's a pretty nice door. <laughs> that's not, no. Come on! No. Come on! That was something. No, it, that, that one didn't work. Okay. Good try, though. He loves the shower back here. I'll let, I'll let him take over yeah, the shower. Yeah, look, look at this. Look at the look at this detail. I mean, just the marble, the finish. Like, it looks so nice in here. You have, like, residential-style shower in your RV. It's beautiful. Once again, I can fit really nice. It's six foot one, and I have no problem showering in here. A lot of, a lot of showers, you know, when they come up to like just my chest. You know, you do one of these, that's super uncomfortable. I can really hit this whole thing, which is nice. So, and there's your door. Beautiful. Simple as that, one hand. Storage here, behind the medicine cabinet. And storage here, lots of linen space or toiletries, anything you're thinking. You could do separate, one for each person that's staying because you have the two beds for two people. Nice bathroom, and it closes with, a, with an actual door, not just like one of those uh, accordion dividers. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I did notice I went around back. It's got a, obviously a backing camera. You probably knew that, but a little touch screen down here, so you've got all your needs right there at your fingertips. And uh, yeah, so when Tim and I came down on one of these, he did all the driving, and I sat there, I sat back here a little bit. There were times when I was laying back in bed while he drove. It's really nice to drive around in these yeah. things. And this slide out here gives you a lot of room yeah. right here. When we were filming, actually, I remember we were putting our, all of our camera gear up on the table uh -huh. and our com computer and moving all of the footage while using this as like a desk, a right. portable, portable workstation, which yeah. was really nice. And the cool thing about this is for a lot of folks, maybe you haven't got like, maybe the thing keeping you from buying a, an RV is the fact that you may need to buy a bigger vehicle to tow that. Mm. You don't need that with this. Nope. You've got uh, your, your, it's like a turtle that you shell with you. Um, I know that some people there, it is fair to say that some people that when you take this, unless you are towing a vehicle behind, it's not as easy to maybe get around because you have to take the whole thing everywhere you want to go once you get to where you're going. But you tried it with you tried it with the Class C. Yeah, and we had a blast. We had a blast in that thing. Mm -hmm. I really like this corner. I'm starting to get comfy over here. Yeah, it's nice. Well, that's I the cool thing also is as long as you're safe and maybe buckled in, you come down, you got your kids back here, your kids aren't going to ask how long do we get there because they're back here watching TV, playing games, yeah. napping. Whatever. You can use the bathroom if, yeah. you, if you're careful. Yeah. And that's one thing we didn't get to do when I traveled with Tim is because we were borrowing one. They're like, hey, you can't use the bathroom in this thing. So yeah. I didn't get to use the bathroom. Yet. I like to use the bathroom like in a plane. It just makes me feel cool. To, yeah. To use. It doesn't make me feel cool. I just need to pee. It's an air. experience. It's, a, it's an experience. Sometimes way too much information. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. Beautiful, uh, beautiful experience in this RV. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Christ below, call and talk to somebody if you're even remotely interested, wondering if you can afford to jump into one of these. They will make sure you can afford it before they put you in one. They yeah. don't want you 
I'm telling you, the guys here at RV, the guys and gals here at RV Wholesalers care about you, and they don't want to put you in a situation you shouldn't be in. So feel safe knowing that if you call these guys just to talk to them, they're not going to pressure you into something you don't need. Yeah. It's a good place to buy from. Mm. So, uh, yeah, again, keep chatting us up if you have questions, and uh, we'll close, see. close your eyes and just picture yourself in a snowman. <laughs> It's nice to be in it, yeah. but it's, it's easy to picture yourself in it when you're in it. That's right. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one.